some of the best parts of travel are the unexpected things you find along the way. Till further notice, we are on a mission to explore, create, and we hope to inspire you to try new things too. In our last video, we spent a week in Blue Ridge, Georgia, and camped on the banks of the Tacoa River. We explored mountain waterfalls and took in amazing views from Georgia's highest point. And then we picked apples at the must-see Mercier Farms. We get to pick from this entire block of apples. I'm a good gleaner. You are. In this video, it's time to get our wheels turning and make some unexpected discoveries along the way. We had no idea when we pulled off on this exit to this little rinky dinky KOA that six miles down the road, it was Loretta Lynn's ranch and RV park and event center and historic cabins and museum and gift shops. We could have stayed there. hundred and two degrees here in the holler man I'll tell you what without air conditioning I don't know how they did it so the reason we're here is because we just got to our uh, KOA and like Scott said it's super hot we just turned the air on and closed it up and thought we'd come down the road and check out the ranch and let the RV cool down a little bit I hope at least we've got some shade about the KOA not all KOAs are created equal, just remember that. It's pretty, um, how can I say this, rustic. It's rustic, it was just for a night. Guess what else though? We lost another hubcap. Georgia got one, Tennessee got one. If we lose a hubcap in every state, we're gonna run out of hubcaps really quick. So yeah, be on the lookout. How'd that song go? Something like, I'm proud to be coal miner's daughter. She's just a small town girl raised in the south. Half full of dreams with no one to see what she's all about. She's not the one to run around and she gives her love with no one to tell. So it's quite a ranch. So you got the grist mill behind me on the river and then her estate across the road. Well, back in the day, this is what this is what Loretta Lynn used to uh, tour in right here. It would have been a fancy bus back in those days. They have events here, so they've got a huge RV lower area with horse stables, a barn, a pool. We didn't know just a couple miles down the road from that there was gonna be this amazing market with all the fresh goods. I saw someone carrying out milk in a glass milk jar with the, you know, holder on the top. It's like their own milk from their cows. So they make their own homemade ice cream. So Scott got us um, deli sandwiches, but also we're gonna have one cheat day and get one of their milkshakes. Like they milked the cow that this came out of. So, you know, you gotta have a little tasty taste. Vanilla and that's sea salt caramel. So what we're thinking, because it's too hot, we've got Gracie in the car with us, that we're gonna be coming back this way mid-October. It should be cooler. Maybe we'll stay at Loretta Lynn's RV park and ranch, spend a couple days, go tour the historic 1800s antebellum plantation house. Tour the replica of her coal miner home, little cabin do the museum, ride the bikes. You can even go tubing and fishing and everything. So we lost a hub gap today. It's okay, this is this is worth it. And sorry, it's noisy because the engine is running so we don't have heat stroke. So it is what it is. This is real life, folks. You wanted the authentic us. The authentic Tammy needs to brush her hair covered in grabbiness from traveling, sitting in the truck, sweating, you know. This is the real us, so. 
Good morning from the very noisy KOA. I thought we'd share with you today what it's like on a normal travel day, towing the RV from one place to the other. It's gonna be a long day, so hang on to your britches. We barely unhooked last night. We're just in road mode. You ready for another travel day? You can see from this campsite how unlevel they are. We had to put a lot of blocks under our front legs to get it level enough to get in. It's way off the ground. Here, so. where's your walkie-talkie? Where's your, you're not doing your job. <laughs> where's your walkie-talkie? Over there, with Gracie. Go get the walkie-talkie. That's, that's the problem. He told me, I can see where the middle of the pin is. You don't have to stand there and guide me. So I didn't, he's like a foot off. So I was being a jerk and I just let him try to guide himself to the middle of the pin without me uh, helping to prove my point like any wife would do. All right, let's hook her up. That's how you do it right there. We didn't even use the walkie talkie. I know. Also, I will guide Scott out of the site because there's two huge trees on both sides of the RV. And you know, you gotta watch your tail swing. Scott almost took out a police car yesterday with his tail swing, so I gotta keep an eye on him. But don't tell him I told you that. That's our little secret. Today we're gonna be doing about 350 miles. We usually try to keep it under 300 miles, so it's gonna be a little extra long day for us. I don't wanna jinx us, but we got smooth road, new pavement, clear skies so far. The thing I love about Tennessee is they have free samples of these distilleries along the interstate. Yeah, it's not that I like whiskey, but it makes me wonder how many of these people out here do. Just grab a shot of whiskey and head back out on the road. That sounds like a smart idea. It's kind of a boring, long, boring stretch today, babe. You want to play the alphabet game? Only if you're not intending to cheat like usual. You know, it's not really fair for the driver because the driver does have to pay attention to the road. So, <clears throat> anytime the driver says pause, you gotta hold off. And then when I can pay attention again, I'll say unpause, okay? The only problem with the pause rule is you wait till I'm winning and then you hit pause. Mark best. Big. Century. And that's on a truck. Trucks don't count. Distillery, free. <laughs> oh. oh, exit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to pause since you're losing? <clears throat> Grandma, hiring. Pretty much losing this game. We're on you. Pause. Pause, it's getting too busy. Unpause under. That's what I told you about the pause rule. It's a cheat method. Wait, pause. Unpause, Victor. You stop cheating. Pause. Unpause, winner. No, I already said it. No, you. I was paused. You're a cheater. Time for a rest stop. I always like to stop after about 50 miles just to do a walk around, make sure everything looks good. Problem, all of the rest stops we've seen so far in Tennessee have been packed. Like, there's just not enough of them. This one looks hopeful. Thank goodness this truck's leaving because there were no spots. This thing is the coolest little tool. It's a infrared thermometer. And you can check temps on all of your hubcaps. Make sure you're not overheating. And the TPMS does that too, but every now and then I like to double check. And why use a truck stop bathroom when you can uh, use your own? Go too. Gracie doesn't want to go here. She's scared of the noisy trucks. So we'll wait until we find a quieter place. And for the record, I won the ABC game.
breakfast of champions. I did make us lunch. We've got lunch in the cooler. About to go through uh, the middle of Memphis. Don't you love going through the middle of cities, babe? We just went through a section where the potholes were so bad. And it's I-40, for goodness sake. like Christmas every time you park and open the door to the fifth wheel you just never know what you're gonna get. Tammy always makes me the best wraps. And off we go again. Hopefully the next stop will be the RV park. Here's our spot for the next three days. And right across from us is a huge grassy field for Gracie. And by golly, I don't see anything broken yet. All right, time to settle in. That was a long day. Quick for you guys, but long for us. Good morning. Scott told me to get my rear out of bed because it's supposed to be a rainy day. It's cloudy, but while we're here, we thought we'd run up the road about an hour to Falling Waters before the storm comes. So that's where we're headed. If you want to go with us, you're more than welcome to. Oh, and I did come prepared with swim bottoms today, just in case I want to get wet. Because last time, I didn't have a swimsuit on. And unlike Scott, I couldn't just strip down to my skivvies in front of the children. So yeah, I'm prepared this time. Water shoes, swimsuit, towel, Maybe we can get in a waterfall today. Maybe we'll get rained on. Maybe we'll just go see some pretty things. Who knows what adventure's in store for us today. All right, here we go. We're on old Highway 27 in the Ozark National Forest and um, we have not seen one single other car. It's Labor Day weekend and we heard Falling Waters was the most popular waterfall in Arkansas. Bill Billy Slim's Hoedown Hall and Eatery or something like that. Anyway, interesting. Back here in the Ozarks. Are you sure you know where you're going, babe? Because we haven't seen a single person yet. Yeah, I got GPS. I don't have cell, though. I don't even know how. I mean, if my GPS stops working, we're in trouble because we're in the middle of nowhere. And if the car were to break down, and it would be getting late in the day, and we're out here in the woods, and I had to walk out and go find a old homestead like that back there to see if they have a telephone. I don't know. My, my imagination is starting to run wild. Yeah, most of the things we've seen have been shuttered up. So we um, are idiots. You want to know why there's no people on the road to see the spectacular falling waters? Waterfall? Because there's no water this time of year, it's uh, pretty much dry. <laughs> so yeah, tourists, we don't know what we're doing. If you want to come see the waterfalls, don't come in the summer or fall. I'm not sure why I wore my swimsuit. I hear a trickle. I think we'll get a trickle, but the creek is pretty much dry. So anyway, 
We got a beautiful drive up into the Ozark National Forest. And let me show you falling waters in the late summer, early fall. I can hear some water falling. I can hear it. Let's follow the sound of the falling water. There it is. Hey, there's still a little bit of falling water, but I could see how this would be fun because all up here, all these little tiny pools of water would be full of water and people playing. There's a rope swing. I think when there's more than a foot of water. Yeah, I don't, I don't think rope swinging into the murky pool of water, shallow water is probably a smart idea, but it looks like they have some fun, fun during the rainy season or whenever there's water, but not time of this time of year. We're trying to figure out how to get down there. There's a couple of homemade plank to tree ladders going down into the grotto if you want to try it with your knees. You go first. I'm not climbing down that thing. What have we gotten you into? Well, babe, go ahead and climb down the ladder. Gracie and me are just going to stay right here. We did find a little set of stairs to the bottom. We don't have to climb down a tree. Look at you. I to put her in her dog a It's easier for my hands to be more free when she's in this. Well, there's not much water, but I guess the plus side is there was plenty of parking. I think it's still beautiful, even though it's not like a lot of water and it's peaceful, it's quiet. It's very much what I like. I had in my mind for Arkansas, so it works. Good morning from Russellville, Oklahoma. No, Arkansas. I can't think, I'm tired. Russellville, Arkansas. We're headed to Oklahoma. 6.53. We just get earlier and earlier. 12 bucks a night, 50 amp, water, and they have a sewer dump. But why in the world are you wearing sandals in this danger zone? You can take me out of Florida, but you can't take Florida out of me. We'll see about that. Ouch! Ouch! Uh, okay, let's go.